Um, here's a poem called Cognitive Dissidence. The podcast is telling you about how the internet has rewired our brains. We no longer think the way we used to, and there's good and bad in that, of course, you add, since no one asked. You're walking down the hill, and so since the walk home is a lot easier, the information is going in quicker, and you have time to scroll on your phone, catch up on your socials. You've been told it's actually antisocial, and this is perfect since it's just you and the dog, and the dog's idea of a really good post is one to piss on, and hey, Maybe you aren't that different after all. But anyway, you are hearing all this talk about how humanity's hell is being handed to it, and deservedly. The handbasket is big tech sponsored. The revolution took place after a two liter of Mountain Dew was finished at 3 a.m. The code is one. They had no moral drivers, only function. That was fitted to form and then became the norm. The ethics were outside of this reinvented wheel, hovering in search of a new Venn diagram. But then you see a cry for help. A person saying that they have no money and no way of working out what to do. Their kid has a birthday, they can't throw a party, they can't catch a break. They are well past breaking point. Set and match will be called very soon, you have to assume. And you scroll through strangers offering to lend a hand. Requests for the bank account so they can help. And then more comments praising those that are answering this call. There is good in the world, there is hope, there is something really special. And though the noise is deafening and it can feel impossible to tear a tiny corner, let alone cut right through, you have to carry on reading, absorbing, learning. You have to try your best to care. You have to be on the lookout for the beacons, little parcels of hope. You can see them. People are offering them. You could offer one too.